the, the project itself is, is really forward thinking. I think it's tackling in exactly the right area. I think everyone should sign up. It's so important. And I'm really pleased to be a very small part of it. Each, each different tropical forest and tropical regions in different continents are all really very different, but they're all incredibly important. So um, I've, uh, I, I've always had a wonderful affinity. I mean, deserts you describe as barren, forests you describe, or tropical forests you describe as lush. That kind of sums it up for me. Climate change is affecting me and my work, but it's actually affecting all of us and all of our work, because whether we see it or not, climate change is happening. It really is happening and it's going on everywhere. I'm very fortunate that I see it firsthand because I go to the forest. I climb mountains where the glaciers have actually disappeared that people grew up knowing that they were there. I go to the Arctic and I see the difference in the meltwater and I talk to the various peoples and the tribal peoples who say things are changing. Not only, of course, is a forest famous for the flora and fauna within them, but there are millions and millions of people living in, in the forests all over the world. And I'm very fortunate that I've met some of these people and actually some of these people are my friends. And they look at me and they know that I have a voice and I've spoken to many, uh, many people around the world. And they're pleading for help. They're pleading for help. I, I see it, I feel it, and um, I, I know that I owe it to those coming after us that we pay it due course. They know that people listen to them. So I'm really, really massively impressed by a lot of the words that I hear from DiCaprio and all these other people who are doing amazing work and using their very um, positive image to go out and, and spread the word to people who, who are listening to them. We are the generation, there is no two ways of looking at it. We are the ones that hold the future of the planet in our hands. I love frogs dearly, I mean I really do, especially tree frogs, they're amongst my favourite looking animals. And I love the sound and sleeping, sleeping to the, the chorus of the frogs at night. But when you start putting their poisons in your bloodstream, it feels a bit different, believe me. I think Kismet the frog, we all know Kermit the frog, but Kismet, Kismet, ancient Arabic word means fate. Um, even um, Nelson on his deathbed, he didn't say kiss me Hardy, people, some scholars think he might have said kiss me Hardy, I, it's fate. And likewise fate, you know, it's um, the, the rainforest and what's going on now, fate. Well, fate makes it seem like, God, it's happening. We have to, that's why I think we need to wake up, we need to challenge it, we need to look at this and we need to say, okay, what is our fate?